Now to a highly unusual moment that really was rocket science. A space company used a helicopter to catch part of a rocket, but didn't go all as planned. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi has the story. It's a catch for the ages. Oh, there we go. We've got our first glimpse of it. An American aerospace company last night achieving a historic first, catching part of a rocket in midair with a helicopter. The company Rocket Lab, which aims to launch satellites into orbit at a lower cost, launched 34 small satellites into orbit Monday. After separating, the 39-foot-long booster stage of the rocket fell back to Earth with parachutes slowing down its descent. A helicopter hovering in the area stood by as the booster came into view and then, with a grappling hook at the end of a long cable, the pilot snagged it out of the air. We have successfully caught that electron booster. And it doesn't just look cool. Catching the booster before it hits the ocean prevents major damage. So if it lands in the ocean, you get salt water intrusion and that can be pretty harmful to a lot of the components on a rocket. But while the catch was successful, getting the booster back to land did not go according to plan. After the catch, the helicopter pilot noticed different load characteristics than we've experienced in testing. The pilot offloaded the stage for a successful splashdown. Still, Rocket Lab calls a mission a success. It hopes one day to refurbish and reuse a recovered booster, a feat only one company has been able to achieve, Elon Musk's SpaceX. That company has landed boosters on drone ships and dry land several times, using built-in engines and fuel, a system that would be too inefficient on Rocket Lab's small spacecrafts. It's really not efficient to try to land that propulsively in terms of fuel costs and things like that. Rocket Lab is one of the many companies competing with SpaceX. The goal is to lower the cost of space travel. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, New York.